Hello everyone, my name is Uthris, and welcome to the possible final episode of Banished, Colonial Charter. So basically, I've been working non-stop between the episodes, trying to increase our food production. But in doing so, it increases our population just naturally because I need houses near the food production for it to be useful. And so it kind of cancels out the effect, and I have been just spamming farms, kind of out and about. Uh, the main farming town trying to get something going um, it it's rough we're at 4,400 food that's the lowest I haven't been that low I mean since the start of the the map and we have oh almost a thousand total population if I look at our town hall here we're at a total of 933 so besides these farms, I've been building, I mean, additional small villages such as this one, you know, getting a gatherer's hut up, trying to get food that way, and that's producing a lot of food. I mean, it's producing an easy 2100 uh, or more. You know, I have two more fisheries here uh, that just started working, but our food's just dropping. It, it's, it's no good. Um, you know, we have all these animal pens over here, and it's, it's just not keeping up with it. I don't know why, really, because uh, I, I was pretty stable for a long while. Um, I, just, I just don't know what's causing this, and um, I, I just wanted to record as I was afraid that if we hit a, a spot here that things started just dying, I wanted to get it captured, even though... Really, this is way earlier than what I wanted. I wanted to solve the food issue and then start recording when you started working on the actual city. Because I actually set up one of the main avenues. I have the two main markets uh, set up for where the uh, kind of the production district was, was going to be. But right now, it's, it's just food. It's just a whole bunch of food. I think it'll recover because we're in the harvest season almost. And once... Once we get through that, I have a feeling things will kind of balance out. At least I hope. Popping down the final home for our little fishing outpost out here. Because, uh, you know, I just want to make sure they don't have to walk that far. I think, yeah, that one still has a person coming from another town. This person's fine. But that's just no good. And I don't know where that person's going. What are, what are you? A cleric? And a gatherer? Why? You know, maybe um, we're running into problems with housing. So let me, let me check some things. Because if we don't have enough housing close enough to our production, that, that could account for a lot of the productivity loss. But right now, everything is pretty well contained food source wise. I mean, these farms aren't taking anything extraordinary. Uh, the main town, as far as I know, I mean, this place has been fairly normal for a long time. I, I don't. I'm at a loss. We're back up to 8,000 food because we're stirring the harvest, but that, that's still no good. I, I don't know. I hope it's not the end because th there's still just a few more things that I wanted to build for you guys and we're just basically writing this one out I guess let's see let's get two more farmers uh, how much are they producing they're producing an okay amount of food this is just gonna be a big field of wheat partial flax for clothing once we're ready for that because in the city I was gonna have two you know large tailors and now we have a fire I have a well here don't I yes I do so this is what I wanted because one it's going to take people away from the food production to try and deal with this and this is spreading and this is terrible oh no 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 it's that's no good. Does that spread to farms? I hope not. I don't see why it would. 
I mean, luckily it wasn't in the actual inner city. But we lost some homes out there in the farmland, and that's, that's going to make their job definitely a little harder. That's tragic. Tragic for the people of Dead Flow. I mean, look at all those people trying to put out the fire. It's just not working. We lost five buildings back here, guys. Not where we wanted to be, but we're, we're at 14,000 14, food again, so we might be able to last another year. I'm going to have to rebuild all these structures at some point, but really, they're not the priority right now, in my opinion. It's autumn. Year 120. So. Really hope those those two fisheries will help definitely solve the issue in the long run. Fishermen, 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 fishermen. Okay, that's enough. I may even throw gatherers up there too. Just for, just for the extra. Because why not at this point? You know, just uh, put that there, and go home this way, here, and a log cabin for good measure. And once we have these fields, I mean, I'm gonna have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten fields around this granary and windmill area, which will hopefully do us really well. But uh, until that's done, I think I'm relatively stable. So I'm going to go ahead and actually, I guess, fully solve this food issue. And then from there, we'll see if you have enough time to start working on the city. Well, I think this is going to be uh, pretty much it for Banished, sadly. Um, uh, I, I cannot get the food to recover, and so essentially what I'm going to have to do is in the series here um, It's just been hovering around 3,000 for the past like three in-game years And it's just not net improving. So what I've done to basically expedite the problem is I just accepted a hundred nomads into the town and basically oh and also we happen to have an outbreak of uh, measles so this will be pretty much the final moments of stead flow for the most part I'm trying to get to a place so you can watch things kind of settle a little surprised that uh that quite everyone's using the coaching in here but we have a bunch of homeless people now uh, from the nomads how much does that affect our overview here Let's see, it cut our education by 10%. Uh, we were at 99% educated, 100% clothed. But um, that just pretty much went out the door instantly. But everything's still relatively okay. We have eight people starving, nine people starving. Um, it's pretty much going to get a little ridiculous pretty quick. Um, as soon as it starts going. Though, really, in the long run, our town would technically survive. Because we have 352 laborers set up. And as soon as pretty much any, any food production uh, person would be pretty much instantly replaced. And really, it, it would probably start evening out. I mean, we might, we'll probably get back down to 200 total population, but it's, it's to the point to where I'm pretty much done with it. So now we just get to watch all the people slowly uh, run out of food and get replaced and also possibly die from disease. What else could happen? I don't know. A tornado could possibly come through, but I doubt it. I don't think two disasters really happen at once. Yeah, that, that place has no food at all. We have 109 homeless people. 
I don't know how I even have 4,500 food. It's like staying flat. Look at our production here. Food. Used 29,000. Produced 13,000. Yeah, why, uh, why is it at zero yet? I'm confused by this. This should be the death of Steadflow. In reality, it's just a slow suffering and agonizing defeat. Hmm. I mean, people are slowly going away. Not quite slowly enough. I wish I could speed up time to times 10, but uh, the map's kind of so populated now that really my game can't handle it very, very easily. Total population count is 1,176, 726 adults, 391 children. It's not even autumn. I don't know where the food's coming from. It's probably the fisheries. They always kind of do it out for me. Or is it the gathering huts that I've been building? I've been building a whole bunch of stuff. Like this village here to... There's another village just south of it, I believe. Over here. I mean, I just been trying to get this farmland built, but it's going so slow. The AI in the game has been finding me so much. Well, let's get more farmers, I guess. People are starting to go. Where's where's farmer? I don't know why it's at the top of the list instead of in alphabetical order like everything else, but whatever. Here we go, and put some builders back. Okay. Now everyone's starving. That went from like 10 to 100 people real quick. But it's mainly all the nomads. Basically, I've hired them to clear my land. Didn't feed them, and now they're going to die. That's a shame. We have 43 people infected. I totally forgot about the disease going on. That's going to start running rampant. Look at all these symbols. Just going around. Oh, okay. Ding, 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 ding. There it goes. Snowball effect has occurred. We'll just see if the town is able to survive a catastrophe such as this. And then we'll probably call this season done. It's just that constant, constant ringing of death. Graveyards are instantly full. Let's look at the population graph. As you can see, we, we, we were really starting to grow in population. And that's kind of killed our food. Um, I really wanted to stay roughly at this angle. In fact, we probably should have been about where the green line is instead of where the yellow line. It's definitely where part of the problem occurred. It's really not. It's not even really dipping down yet. Eighty-nine people infected with this disease. Our hospitals are becoming too full. This is very interesting. How it simulates all this. 
Oh, wow. 117 people infected now. Just went from 80 to 117. I feel like I'm playing Plague Inc. I'm actually kind of rooting for the disease rather than the starvation. Soon all these homes will just be empty shells. All these animals. Animals were, were really lackluster, I felt. For how much space they take up and how little food they really give. people starving in this area. I think the main town is roughly okay. I mean, the, the first town that we had is fairly balanced. So the hospital's full up. 170 people infected. Wow, look at all that. Oh, even more. Only two homeless people left. There's a traitor in the area. He should probably leave the area. This, this is basically zombie land at this point. Please, run guy. Get out of here. The fields turned out relatively nice looking though. Which is a nice centerpiece and then just the tall, you know, crop fields spread around it. It didn't help, like at all. Um, I mean, really, it, it was only producing 728 food a year. I mean, really, I sh if I really wanted a whole bunch of food, I could have just done a whole bunch of fisheries, because these things were producing 2,500 a year. But that's, I feel like that was gimping the system. And then also, because we, we decided to do this trading economy, that was a problem. Um, and that caused some, some issues... But it's more interesting. It's just more interesting to, to have these these towns try and trade with each other. Because if, if I did the, the one town just keep growing until, you know, it, it would have been boring. I would have felt. I mean, the, the little towns are pretty much copy and paste of each other. They're pretty much all the same. They have an herbalist, maybe, a, a gathering hut, a forester's lodge. Very common stuff. Now see, once winter comes, I don't have enough firewood, I don't think. And so there'll be a disease, starvation, freezing to death probably. Three hundred people infected. Oh, <laughs> that's so cool. Like they're not gonna make it. This is unrecoverable. If it wasn't for the disease, it would have stopped. Cause we only have twenty-five people starving at this point. But measles, man, measles is running real hard. We still have 196 laborers, though. But also, because everyone has disease, pretty much, they're not producing food. So that might make the starvation even worse as well. See, it's, it's funny. You don't notice that there's this many people in, in the uh, farming city until there's symbols above their head. Because normally when I'm zoomed out like this, you don't really see them. I mean, it's just a constant flow of people. So, I think that just says something with, with how many people we have in our city. I mean, this bridge is just going back and forth. 220, 20 people starving. I want to see how long this takes. I'm very curious. Herdsmen. And if it's if it's all of our laborers, <laughs> these guys are so confused. There's not enough hospital space, so they're going from one hospital to another, trying to find one that's not full. 
But each hospital can only hold 30 people. And then because they're going from town to town, they're just spreading the disease even more. I still don't know how I have any food. That should be reading zero, in my opinion. You know, things didn't balance out like I hoped. So basically, it looks like it might end up being a full wipe. We're out of spare people. And um, at this point, it's just pure starvation. I have 2,900 food. The issue though, is that because I have so many markets, is that my people are trying to distribute the food instead of maybe centralizing it and what that happens is uh, starvation simply even though I do have food it's just uh, th there's not enough in a location to maybe save a specific town and so all towns have too little food and now it's just gonna wipe I believe and I don't think we have enough firewood for the winter. We're at 236 and it's just late autumn. So there goes that experiment. I mean, we'll probably survive, you know, in the long run. You know, but you can see how many people we've lost. If we go over to our little chart over at the town hall, which is over here, we can see population in the last two years we had the increase from accepting the nomads to kind of trigger the cataclysm event and then it just went down it's been a year uh, we went from over a thousand to total less than 500 so over half our population's gone and now it's starting to kind of balance out so yeah, that's it for uh, Banished Season 2. I hope you guys enjoyed the series. If you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and check out the other videos or check out my other uh, games that I play. And uh, be excited for Timber and Stone. Timber and Stone is what we're going to be doing going forward. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.